Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're doing what if he not to gave Naruto Herbie Yakugan. So let's get into it. Wait a wait nigga. So we last left off with what Naruto starting his training with Jiraiya. So let's get into that. So the first thing Jiraiya will have Naruto learn is water walking. Now Naruto would grasp the concept of water work, water working, water walking relatively fast. We're getting it within the first five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Now this is actually probably the fastest that anyone's ever got water walking. And Jiraiya thinks. Oh, this kid, the Byakuga might be helping, but the kid doesn't know how to activate it. But, you know, he thinks, oh, well, since he doesn't know how to activate, this kid might be, you know, a prodigy that no one knew of because no one taught him correctly. And we'll continue on. And Jiraiya would then teach Naruto the summoning jutsu. Now, it will take Naruto around two days to get the summoning jutsu down. Which would, you know, shut Jiraiya. Because the first time Naruto didn't summon the temple, he actually summoned Gamagichi the first time. Then he summoned, well, you all know the toad that Jiraiya summoned to be Ebisu. That toad. This is the toad that Naruto was summoned on his first try. <clears throat> and, well, on his second try. And on his, um, try to keep, um, keep having the toad go back. And, well... It will continuously, you know, it will continuously keep summoning that toad and or Gamakichi until the next day when Naruto gets it. He will finally summon Gamabunta, but Gamabunta recognizing Naruto with all the toads knowing that Naruto, Jiraiya told the toads that Minato had a son and the toads had already planned for his son to, you know, go on and learn Sage Mode and become their toad summoner. So they, Gamabunta already knew who this was and was ready to test Naruto. All Naruto had to do was stay on, so on top of him. Since Naruto was a Ginning. He had to stay on top of him for 12 four hours. So 12 hours later, Gamabuta invites Naruto for a drink. Now Naruto, you know, not necessarily knowing what Gamabuta means, will take him up on his offer and well, <laughs> let's just say Naruto had some fun with some toads last night. Not in that way. Not in that way. Please don't do that. Please no, don't think about it like that. But yes, Naruto had some fun with the toes last night. He ended up getting drunk and everything and, you know, lived his best life. So, moving on, Jiraiya would then teach Naruto the Rasengan. Now, Naruto would get the first two steps of the Rasengan down relatively fast. But Jiraiya can see that it's the third one and thinks that if Naruto, if he was to grab a Hyuga, he would might be able to, you know, have them teach Naruto how to activate the Byakugan so he can, it'll help him learn the Rasengan faster. And he knows only one Hyuga. That, well, Jiraiya has heard of only one Hyuga. The Hyuga that killed Hinata, Neji. So Jiraiya, one day when Neji's walking through Akonohan, Jiraiya would kidnap Neji. And would take him into where, you know, Naruto is. And Jiraiya would ask Neji to teach him. How to summon the to um not to how to summon the toads, but um ask Neji to teach Naruto how to activate the Byakugan. Now Neji, obviously he has the main branch and this specifically goes against the main branch, so he would obviously help. <clears throat> and you know he or she doesn't care. He would he would help Naruto, but the you know the Hayuga elders wouldn't allow him to. So Neji would say that he'll go to the Hayuga clan and get a scroll on how to activate the, you know, the, the Byakugan and will come back. And so like, you know, an hour later, Neji would arrive and would give Naruto the scroll saying that he cannot teach him. Because if the Hayuga elders will learn that he taught him, then he will be in very, so much trouble. So he would tell Naruto that he has at least five hours to learn this. And Jirai would then tell Naruto why not use the Shadow Clones. So Naruto will question Jirai saying, are you crazy? How could the Shadow Clones help? Jirai says, kid, you don't know about those? So Naruto says, no. 
is Droid says, well, the Shadow Clones can gain experience and transfer that experience when dispelled back to their owners, which means you could learn to activate the Biokuron, you could do Chakra Control and Ninjutsu training with Mass Shadow, mass shadow Clone training with how much Shadow Clones you can, have, you can use, and you will be able to get the technique down faster. Like, let's say you was to use 300 Dissons in one day. That means on, on one Jutsu. And then one day, you spent a whole year of technically of learning that Jutsu. Now, Naruto would be amazed by this and would instantly spawn a bunch of Shadow Clones. Now, each Shadow Clone would spawn with a scroll in their hands, which this being the scroll and would all go down on it. Jiraiya would then tell Naruto, why not um, make a bunch of Shadow Clones for them to learn the Rasengan? Maybe this will help him. It's tell him to use one hand instead of two, or use a, don't use a Shadow Clone. You know, Naruto thought about it, was thinking about that. And Naruto decided to do this and made a bunch of Shadow Clones, like around five, nope, around 200. And he put 300 to learn to be, how to activate the Biakugan, but around um, 200 to learn the Rasengan one-handed. So by the end of the day, Naruto has fully completed and mastered, because it's like Naruto spent not even a year, but like almost a full year technically of mastering the Rasengan. And, um, well, it took Jiraiya, what, like, a, a year or two to master the Rasengan? Now, I'm pretty sure he used Shadow Clones, but Naruto did a lot faster. Anyways, so Jiraiya would decide that when, um, this training is over, he's gonna take Naruto on a training trip. Well, when, after this, he's gonna take Naruto on a training trip. And he's gonna teach him his father's most prized Jutsu. And you all know what his most prized Jutsu is, so respect that if you guys want Shippuden. Like I said in the announcement, the new update on the channel and announcement video, this is what you got. You guys will be choosing. Anyways, moving on. Neji would then tell Naruto that he, he's only helping him to spite the main branch and the elders. But he will, if he's given a chance, he will kill him and, the, and their match. Naruto will tell Neji he, um, he hopes so. Because he's going to kill him for what he did to Hinata. So, Naruto would then have an idea. As he would have Jiraiya knock out Naruto. I mean, knock out um, Neji. As Naruto would then have Neji handed to a... Um, have a, one of his clones handed to Neji. And would then send it to the Hyuga clan. Now, with his Biaka, now, um, I don't believe Naruto would have been able to get the eyes right, but because he has the Biaka gun already, no, none of the Hugas will question him. So, Neji would come back in with, with the one scroll, which is the scroll that Naruto sent him with. And, well, he would come out with a bunch of other scrolls, this being scrolls on the Hyuga's gentle fist. Now, Naruto will have Jiraiya, you know, uh, copy, help him copy all the scrolls along with the help of Shadow Clones. Copy all the scrolls down so that he could get all of this down in time for him to learn everything. But Jiraiya knows that Naruto won't even be able to get down the basics of the Gentle Fist unless he uses the Shadow Clone. But he doesn't want Naruto to do that until after the tuning exams. He wants Naruto to fight as himself. So, <clears throat> anyways. After this, Naruto would ask right, could he use the um, Shadow Clones for, you know, physical training? Because he tells him no, but he can use the Shadow Clones to learn the stances and the strikes of, of all of the Gentle Fits. And um, they, that if he is incompatible with the Gentle Fits, it's probably because of his elemental affinity. And that if he's a Wind Style, um, anyway, if he's an Earth Style user, then it should be compatible. If he's any other style, then it's not. And he should adapt the Gentle Fits into that style. <clears throat> so, anyways, moving on, Jiraiya would then, um, not one day, not Jiraiya, Naruto would then take all the scrolls back into the Hyuga compound as Neji and would come back out as Neji. And eventually, Neji would wake up and would ask Naruto why did he have Jiraiya, not, well, why, ask Jiraiya why did he knock him out. Naruto says that he just want, uh, he just did it. He doesn't know why Jiraiya did this. Neji would glare at Jiraiya and would then leave as, as Naruto says that he already, already gave the scroll. He already put the scroll back. He transformed it to him and put it back into the Hugo compound. As Neji's wondering was the guards, you know, being lax or something, but, you know, didn't mind. Because Naruto put it back. 
So this is where we get into the time skip to the start of the Chunin exams. So Naruto will be um will be with Jiraiya. It's not just his Kirby says, are they ready? Jiraiya says, yes, they, yes, yes, they are, kid. It's not just his, all right, um, help me put it on. As Naruto then put on his new jacket and pants, I will be putting up a picture of Naruto's clothes. I promise. That's not a full definite promise, but it's a promise. Anyways, this is why I say, all right, kid, you're ready. As Naruto says, how are we going to do this? Summoning Jutsu. How about the summoning Jutsu? We could summon, I could summon Gamabunta. Right. As um, Naruto hears the proctor say, Naruto Uzumaki, last final call. As Jiraiya would then jump down, the proctor says, oh, Master Jiraiya. As Jiraiya would then go through hand signs. As no one sees Naruto, well, only hears it in Orochi, well, or the Kazekaze sees Naruto jump jump onto the top of the smoke. As when the smoke clears, everyone just sees Naruto standing up there with Jiraiya on top of a toad. As the civilian council seeing this are in an outrage, Jiraiya has passed on the toad summoning contract to the demon, and he also has the Byakugan. And they don't know what to do. <clears throat> so, you know, the civilian council is definitely going to talk to Jiraiya and force him to teach Sasuke after this. Naruto then t uh, jumps down, as Neji says, ah, you messaged your outfit after, uh, you, um, um, you, what is it called, hold up, you based your outfit off of Hinata, didn't you, Naruto, Naruto says, yeah, Neji, now, be prepared to pay, Neji says, yeah, yeah, right, Naruto, like, you could ever beat me. As Neji then gets into his fate monologue, as Naruto said, basically, um, and then gets into the Hayuga clan, and will show everyone the case for a seal, and will then explain why he hates all of them. And now, he actually would then come, come to the decision right then and there. At, if Neji survived, well, if, well, after the match, most definitely he will go tell Neji the truth about his father. So, moving on, Naruto and Neji will be in their fight. As Neji will activate his Byakugan. As the Hyuga elders then say, well, we can finally get to Byakugan back because there's no way he, um, he will beat Neji. As Naruto runs at Neji, as Naruto then lands a kick, as Neji says, what the? So much powerful, so much powerful than what we saw with Kiba. As Naruto would then flip in the air and then will land it with a punch Neji in the gut. As Naruto then forces his palm out, like, you know, open palm, and will then palm Neji directly in the chest and come back. So the elder says, this is like the gentle fish strike. Don't tell me someone taught it to him. As Naruto would then tell Neji, come on. As Naruto would then form a blue orb in his hand, as the elders, now the council is even more pissed, especially the Hayuga's elders. They say there's not even their Kaden can combat their technique. This is um, something the fourth Okage tested against Hiyashi, the strongest, you know, of the Kaden technique. And he couldn't even, um, the, the K Hiyashi couldn't even keep his Kaden up against Naruto's, um, you know, Rasengan. As Naruto runs at Neji, as Naruto grabs a kunai with his other hand, as he throws it past Neji, Neji dodges it. As he actually thinks, does he know that jutsu? How? Ned, as he actually then recollect, recollects Naruto's blonde hair, blue eyes, that face. As he then begins to smirk. So he's his son, huh? As Naruto would then not disappear, as he actually thinks, so he doesn't know it. Neji would then say, Rotation! As Naruto would slam the Rasengan into Neji's rotation, completely and utterly disrupting it and destroying it because his, well, you know, his power and rotation is stronger than Neji's. Especially because it's more condensed. As Naruto then slams the Rasengan into Neji's gut, sending Neji into the wall, as Naruto said, I told you, Neji, I kill you for hurting Hinata. 
If the elders then say, Hiyashi, you must stop this. We cannot allow him to kill or yet or beat Neji. There's nothing I can do now. He has to die today, Hiyashi. We need the Byakugan back. Like I said, there is nothing I can do. As Naruto then throws a kunai straight into Neji's shoulder, pierce, and it's a long, um, it's a different type of kunai. As everyone's wondering, where did Naruto get this kunai? As Naruto thinks, thanks Tintin for selling me this kunai. This is a real, it's a really big version of a kunai. Naruto had to use two hands to throw it. Anyways. He had to use two hands to throw this kunai, and it pinned directly into Neji's shoulder. Now, unless Neji wants to rip his arm off, he cannot move. As Naruto then slams the Rasengan into uh, makes another Rasengan, and then slams it into Neji's stomach. As Neji is then incapacitated from the blow. As the party then comes and says, <clears throat> Winner, Uzumaki Naruto. Naruto begins to see a little bit, saying that he wasn't able to, you know, defeat. He wasn't able to, you know, defeat, you know, or kill Neji. But, you know, we get over it quickly. And we go back to his happy smile. As moving on through the other matches, the next match is Sasuke versus Gara. Now, Sasuke doesn't know about Naruto's eye transplant. It doesn't. Um, he never knew because Kakashi never. I don't even think Kakashi knows at the moment. So, you know, not even Sasuke knows. Anyways, Gar Sasuke wouldn't arrive in time, and they would push their match all the way for the last. And then it would be Shino versus Konkuro. Now Konkuro would give up, you know, because he wasn't supposed to show any of his techniques before the invasion started. Gar was supposed to go first and then transform there. And Tamari versus Shikamaru. Now, Naruto didn't make as many holes, but Shikamaru was able to work his way around that. Coming up with a new strategy by using um, <clears throat> an illusion called, so, you know, cast the Genjutsu that he learned. To make Tamari think that he was coming from one angle when he was a, actually coming from a different angle and call her in his shadow. This took up another um, two months of his chakra that he eventually gave up. Because he ran out of chakra. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on to Sasuke versus Gara. Now the Proctor would then um, call for Sasuke one more time, but this time Sasuke doesn't show up. As he says, "All right, Sasuke Uchiha has been given his last warning. He is dis now disqualified." Naruto Uzumaki come down to fight to face Gara, um, Gara of the Sand. As Naruto comes down and enters the arena, Sasuke will come. As Kakashi says, are we late? He says, yes, too late. Sasuke will say, as Kakashi will say, what? They didn't extend his match? As he says, no. <clears throat> the Hokage told me that I could give him as many warnings for this one. Because we already extended, pushed his match back to the last one. But he still didn't show up. So get off of my arena. Get out of my arena. Sasuke will say, well, the whole, the council will hear about this, but then he would see Naruto and then decide to wish his teammate good luck. Because he would say, good luck, Naruto. It's Naruto says, thanks, Sasuke. Naruto says, but we'll definitely fight after this. So Sasuke look at Naruto's eyes and then notices that he has the Byaka gun. He's all just Kakashi. As Kakashi says, how do you? As Gemma says, leave. As, you know, Kakashi and Sasuke get up and leave the arena. <clears throat> As Gara then says, "Come, Uzumaki. You think you could? Um, you think you could satisfy Mother? Let's see." As Gara would then bring out his hand and would shoot it towards Naruto. So Parker pushed the sand away and says, "I haven't said start yet." As she then jumps away and says, "Start." As Gara then says, "More sand out." As Naruto throws a kunai. As Gara thinks, oh, this is nothing, but Gara then notices another kunai comes out from the shadow and thinks, oh, I'll just dodge both. This is when, you know, because Gara's, dis you know, because Gara's attention is solely focused on Naruto, he doesn't see the other kunai transform and stab him directly in the back, causing Gara to bleed. As Naruto would then run up to Gara and will have a Rasengan. 
this Gar Sand will come out. But this is when the Rasengan will transform into a Naruto actually holding another Rasengan. And will slam the Rasengan through the scene and end. As Naruto will then form a hand sign. And Naruto will activate his Byakugan, shocking the elders of the Hyuga clan along with Hiyoshi. Well, every Hyuga that's there and the civilian count, or uh, everyone who knew who knew Naruto had to be who didn't know Naruto had to be Yakugan to begin with, when they saw it in the first match, thought he couldn't activate it. He would shock all of them. And would then, I mean, then say all of his clones would then pile up like under Nar Gara and would then kick him into the air, as they began to say Naruto, Uzumaki, Barrage. Well, 2K Barrage. As the other Naruto appears, as the real Naruto appears in the sky, and then slams over a Sengon directly into Gara, But then would, you know, hit Gara with a Tenketsu, uh, with a Juken Strike that he learned behind Jiraiya's back. <clears throat> as Naruto would hit J Gara with Shukaku into, in his seal, basically disabling Gara from... Um, using Shikaku's chakra and not allowing Shikaku to flood Gara with any of his chakra. This would cause Gara to be knocked out from the blow to the ground. Well, his hand caught him, but it's, it cushioned the blow, but he was still knocked out from it. And Naruto was crowned the winner. Now, Orochimaru would be seething at this, but would then start the invasion. As the ride would appear before the Sand Siblings and Baki could get to um, Gara. As he would then knock all three of them out, and would then have tell Naruto to seal Gara, give him a scroll, and seal him into this prisoner scroll. Into um yeah, the prisoner scroll, and went out, sealed Tamari, Konkuro, and Baki into the other ones, and Naruto would seal Gara into them. As Jiraiya says, "Come on, kid." As Naruto and Jiraiya run out of the build, out of the arena, and goes to fight the summons. As Naruto begins to does the summoning due to. He says, summoning Jutsu. As Gamma Kichi appears, he's you know, says, damn it, Gamma Kichi. Now is not the press time. Gamma Kichi says, sorry for answering your call, but do you have any candy? Naruto is still running with Gamma Kichi in his hand after he picked him up and gives him the candy. As Naruto bites his thumb and then decides to pour more chakra into it because he was already ro rolling, rolling, going, um, he was already low on chakra from, you know, using the Rasengan so much. As Naruto would then slam his hand on the ground. As Gama, I just got a better idea. Naruto would then summon a small green toad. Naruto says, oh, not another small one. As he says, are you Naruto Uzumaki, the new summoner of the toads? Naruto says, yes. She says, I'm trying to fight an invasion. Naruto began going through more hand signs. Naruto says, come on. As Naruto would then do another summoning jutsu as a big proof of comments. Naruto has summoned Gama Hero. I, I legit trying to remember which one Gama Hero is. I believe he's either the red one or the blue one. But I'm hoping it's the red one. Or is that Gama Ken? No, that's not. Uh, is that Gama Ken? No, that's not Gama Ken. That's Gama Ken that he summoned. And Gama Hero, I think he's a blue one. Naruto says, oh yeah. As the Toads will begin to fight um, with Naruto. So Naruto will then say... I don't really know any other Jutsus, but this. Shadow Clone Jutsu. As a bunch of Naruto's appear surrounding the three snake summons. As Naruto would then go, and all of his clones would then kick the snakes all around his body. And the toads would con constantly hit the snakes on the top of his body. Like, on around, or surrounding it, Naruto's clones are kicking it, and on top, the toads are hitting it. As Fukasaku then lands on Naruto's shoulder and says, Boy, after this, tell Jiraiya to summon you to Mount Miyaboku. I would like to speak with you. And says, um, okay. And Fukasaku says, for him to have enough chakra to summon me. I take more chakra than for the other three, for those boss, for the, um, for the boss toads. He must be truly, <clears throat> truly strong and have a lot of chakra for this. As Naruto activates Byakugan, as Naruto would then see the Snake Summons core, and would try to use this one, the one, the one Juken pose that he um, strike that he learned behind Dryer's back, it will try to hit it, but the snakes, 
you know, scales protected. Snanto then asks the Toad to clear the way right there and will drive a giant ace marker. And it's the Toad to continue his beat on the snake for Naruto to, you know, hit it, um, to Naruto to hit the strike to, you know, forcefully make it run out of chakra so that it could be sent back to his summon realm. So, during, due to this, um, the Toad was then, you know, as I said, start attacking and Naruto would, well, basically get an opening. So Naruto would then scream, ah, as he would then strike strike the, the snake in the spot. Forcing the snake's chakras, chakra system to shut down, uh, not permanently, shortly, as it then is, as it then is, reverse summit that goes up in a poof of smoke. As Naruto and the Toes go throughout Konoha saving everyone, even the academy students who were attacked. <clears throat> so this is where we get into a time skip around the end of the invasion. Naruto and Dry are very tired. From Naruto, um, Dry are mostly from fighting a bunch of sounds, you know, but Naruto from fighting all, most of the summons. Now Dry had to fight one summon, but went on to fight the rest of the, um, the sound shinobi, sound of sand shinobi, and Naruto went to fight most of the summons with Gama, um, Gama Ken, I believe, and uh, Fukusaku, and not Gamakichi. Gamakichi was just with Naruto, on top of Naruto at all times. <clears throat> As Naruto would then collapse, oh uh, well, would then lay down, um, not lay down, would fall, uh, fall on his back. So we begin to breathe hard. So Naruto says, finally, I'm done. Man, it took a lot out of me. As Naruto then passes out and wakes up the next two days, two days later. So in the hospital, as Jiraiya is sitting in the room and she says, oh, you're finally awake. Good. I have some grave news though. Naruto says, did we win? He says, yeah, we won, but at a cost. What was the cost? The old man. He's dead, Naruto. As Naruto will then sit there with his eyes wide open, and then will begin to cry. And will then go on to leave and will cry the next couple of days until the old man's funeral. Naruto is holding an uh, angry look on his face the entire the entirety of the funeral and promises that he's going to kill Orochimaru for what he's done. And yes, Neji was approached by Higashi to tell him the truth about his about his um, father before the invasion. So yes, he, Neji still does does still learn about that. <clears throat> and this, this is where he will be ending up part two. Once again, this is what we ended off the what if. I'll see you guys later. Peace and goodbye.